the slate quarriers of Easdale made the best of what they had to hand. It's a time-old tale for West Coast folk, who toiled to build communities on such tricky terrain. As we cross back over to the mainland, the mountains rear up. Much of this coast is sparsely inhabited, like here at Loch Creeran. There are no sizeable settlements on the shores of this loch, at least not above the water. Miranda's seeking the citizens beneath the waves. Loch Creeran is a conservation area because of its incredible marine life. But what makes it so special are some very shy tube worms that are busy building their own city out there under the water. And this I've got to see. These waters conceal some curious little worms that build tube-shaped shells around themselves. Those tube worms have created their own version of a tropical coral reef, the largest of its kind in the Northern Hemisphere. It's down there somewhere and I've got to find it. Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? My guides in Loch Creeran are David Hughes, a marine biologist, and Emily Venables, an oceanographer. David, it's a big old lock. Where exactly are we going to find the worms? Well, we'll find them just over there in the shallows all the way along the south shore. This loch's global claim to fame is down to the shells that the worms build around themselves. Each individual worm secretes a hard calcified tube around itself that it uses to protect itself. Normally we find these worms just growing as single individuals on stones or bits of shell. Yeah. But in a very small number of places, you get large numbers of worms settling together, growing on top of each other. Those hard tubes are the building blocks of an underwater city, and I want to see it. Emily Venables is my tour guide. OK. OK. <laughs> Good. And here we are. What's incredible about these tube worm reefs is that there's just silt everywhere on the bottom of the lock here and then suddenly you come across this little oasis. Inside these tubes is a creature much like an earthworm, but the only part you can see is its delicate fan of tentacles used to filter food from the water. And the slightest disturbance causes them to pull back lightning fast into their hard tubes for protection. I love it when you just swim over them and they all, it's like fireworks in reverse. They all just dart in very, very quickly. Their hiding places are built on top of each other, creating the worm city. It's wonderful how they grow. They're just like gnarly tree roots and incredibly tall as well. Some of these look like two or three foot high. These shy little worms fashion their tubes out of the same hard material as other seashells, calcium carbonate. But because they form vertical branch structures, they build up a reef where other creatures come to hide or hunt. There's so many things living here. They've got hermit crabs, they've got anemones, got sea urchins. It's just a whole cast of characters living in this little city. It's absolutely brilliant, teeming with life. That's what we wanted to see, the scallop just swimming away. It's like a pair of comedy sort of wind up false teeth, isn't it? Uh, these are queen scallops, they're fascinating. They suck in some water and then they squirt it out really quickly. It's like a jet. There's a huge amount of marine life living in this one little spot and if it wasn't for the tube worms, there wouldn't be all these creatures here. Mooring boats and fishing are restricted in Loch Creeran to protect the reefs. We should treasure our underwater worm city.